I'm trying to keep their minds fresh mentally. I'm trying to keep their legs fresh also. Yet we're, but we got to go and practice harder. That's what this team doesn't do. We practice hard, but not hard enough. We compete, but not to the level they need to compete if they truly want to do something. What happens to teams, and, and you just, Texas just lost to Connecticut. Now there's their two game losing streak. If you back up and you get arrogant and you think you're it, and you're not competing in practice, you go on a two game skid. That's what happens. I'm hoping ours was last week. Chances are you're gonna you're gonna be number one this next week. Does that mean anything to you to the team or you know they bad? wanted it bad? I mean that's why they played this way. I think it was a pride thing. I try to tell them those seven national titles are not a burden. They're a badge of honor. Number one in the country is not a burden. That's an honor. And so for us, we'll see how we respond now. The issue that I've had in the past where my teams have started off on win streaks like this and have become number one in the country, they were all veteran teams. They had been there, they had been to the lead eights the year before. And then they were, this team was an NIT team and I'm playing with a, a bunch of children, but they're very good children, <laughs> very good children. But they're young and all this is new. And that's why I'm trying to raise the bar yet, you know, drag them along, but they're, they're, we got a good team. Coach, what did you tell the guys in the locker room, especially now that it's likely they will be number one and the kind of things that they'll be going through over the next few days? I, I haven't done that yet. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, we, you know, what we, what we got to guard against is all the outside influences try to take us to the areas we don't want to go or, uh, but one thing I will tell you, whether you're three, and again, I've done this in three programs, where we're one, two, or three. Three is the same as one when you go on the road. One is worth another three points to that other team. It's not worth 100 points, it's worth another three. If you're two, three, four, five, it is all the same. When you walk in, it's the highest rated team to play in that building. And, uh, but you're number one, it adds three more points to what they want to do, it's the same. I told them, might as well be number one if you're going to be number three or four, what the heck's the difference? And I, I, I don't mind that they want to be the best. What's wrong with that? Coach, I don't know if you know this, but 31 points is the most lopsided loss Arkansas has suffered in SEC play. I'm just wondering what your thoughts are on where the program is and what helps. They're, they're fine. I mean, they're fine. They've got good young players. Um, you know, I think Powell, I, I, I grabbed him after the game. I said, how in the world did you slip through the cracks? I mean, he is really good. And, and all I will tell you is that um, they're fine. They hit a buzzsaw today. I saw them against Florida. I saw, now you understand, they had Mississippi State beat. I watched the tape. Why'd they lose that game? Because Mississippi State went 10 for 12 to start the game. It's the only reason they lost the game. Other than that, they beat Mississippi State at Mississippi State. They had Florida beat. They're, they hit a buzzsaw today. If we played anyone in the country today, they were going to get smashed. Now, I'm not trying to be arrogant, I'm just being real. What I saw from, I asked him after, are we this good? We're this good, this is going to be fun, boys. Last question. Anybody? Coach, it looked with, uh, I think it was about seven minutes left in the first half that Wall was maybe cramping up on the bench or something. No, he wanted to go back in. And I said, no, son, you're not going back in. What was that? that he, was, like he, was... he likes to play. He wants to be back in that game. He's like, you know, coach, are you putting me back in? I said, nope. He tried to argue with me. Then he switched seats with John Hood. He wanted to go back in. He just loves to play. I couldn't say much. How about the play that he went in and spun in the air and tried to shoot it? And you say, why didn't I say anything? Because if he'd have made that, that would have been the most unbelievable play I've ever seen. So I just didn't say anything. And usually I would say something, but I looked at it and said, oh my gosh, he almost made that. Um, but again, you know what, this is, uh, you know, are we number one? Who knows? It doesn't matter. We're trying for a one seed. That's our goal. Uh, I do know we're playing better each week, which is good. And I know we'll hear, well, the teams they beat aren't very good. It used to be, the disclaimer used to be, can't shoot free throws. Remember that one? They should be number one. They can't shoot free throws. This one will be, I haven't beaten anybody. They shouldn't be number one. That's okay. 
we're not playing. We're playing for a number one seed. We're not playing to be number one. So if uh, we'll hear all that stuff and laugh about it, and it kind of inspires us. So I'd like you to write that, that those things and my guys read it. Great thing about this now, I don't even have to say it. In this information age, my guys see everything. So anything else? Thanks, guys.